install it. In this episode of Marina Queen, I assemble Frog's Leap's newly rebuilt raw water pump. Then I head back to San Francisco and finish repairing the bowsprit following the removal of the old bow roller. Also, we learn about what kind of Coast Guard broadcast uses the words pon pon. My name is Rick. Join me as I refit sailing vessel Frog's Leap with an eye towards taking her to warmer places. I get to spend only a few days each month on the boat. That's why I call the channel Marina Queen. So this is the shaft seal. And then the back side looks like this. This goes in the housing this way. The spring faces the water. So what I'm going to do is just set it in there like this where it sits right there and then I'm just gonna use the use this socket and hammer push that in there and we'll have a seal so we've got the housing with the seal in it and now what we need to do well now what we need to do is not fumble the shaft install it in the pump here and what's really cool is you can see there's no play as I move that around it's sitting right on the ledge there and what's cool about that is, look at that, it's centered. It's ready to be put through the seal. The more that I get to know this pump, the more I'm impressed with just how much thought went into designing it and engineering it. So it's, it's a very cool pump. I like it a lot. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a punch, put it in that hole, and I'm going to tap on it with the hammer, and I'm going to drive this in as far as it'll go. Other thing is there is a little key that goes in the shaft and we're gonna put it in now see if we can get it to go in and oh yeah no problem so that's what it looks like once the keys in there it is on the bracket So first the washer, so we got the washer, it's a pretty tight fit there. And then, and then the pulley. Okay, and then the other washer. And this is just an impeller job. enjoyed it. It was great fun. I'm certain it's going to work on the boat. I mean, once you know how the thing works, once you know how to assemble it, it's like, wow, you get so much more confidence with it. It's like five or six in the evening. Tomorrow morning I go to San Francisco, so I haven't even packed and got stuff ready because I wanted to reassemble this thing, partly because I was reforming the rust and I was uh, putting that cool silver on. So I think right now it's time to put this rebuilt pump into my luggage and make sure I have it when I get to the boat tomorrow.
Well, I made it back to the boat. Back to the boat. Back to the boat. Back, back to the boat. The last time I was here, I did some work on the bowsprit. Well, these are the holes I drilled. I was able to come in straight down on this one. But this one I came in at an angle on, and these two as well, just because the the furler gets in the way, and that's something I'm gonna have to be cognizant of, you know, when I'm installing the bow roller. To fill holes in the teak rail, I use West Marine's penetrating epoxy. Yeah, there we go. Two to one, so by volume. So two of these, one of these, which is about what I have left. I have a little more of this, so I have to be careful, careful, careful. So you could use West Systems 105-205 or any kind of epoxy here to put these teak plugs in these holes, but I prefer to use West Marine's penetrating epoxy because it's made for, it's made to rehabilitate rotting wood. Now the teak here isn't rotting, but it's a perfect application for penetrating epoxy. You know, the trick here is making sure you don't pound these plugs in too far. You need some relief to sand flush. Oh yeah. So I've got those smooth now and I'm gonna I've got it cleaned off so go ahead and put some varnish on here and there it is repaired. Still a little wet but it looks good. And then this side will take the bow roller. I'm looking forward to seeing what that's going to look like. Please hang up and try again. I like to listen to these SAR cases. I used to work them as a radio man in the Coast Guard. Roger, we have a Coast Guard asset that is launching to you right now. Please stand by. Here we go. So windsurfer. This is vessel C Diamond responding to the emergency. I'm about 10 minutes from that location. C Diamond from the Coast Guard, go ahead. Vessel C Diamond, I uh, responding to the emergency. 10 minutes from Paradise Cape. C Diamond from the Coast Guard, Roger. You are 10 minutes out from the north end of Paradise Cape. Thank you very much. C Diamond out. Yeah, I don't know why there's so much misinformation out there. You can watch more than one episode of Marina Queen in one sitting. No doubt about it. What? You can binge watch Marina Queen from the very first episode. Yes. So do it. Oh, it's real. You can definitely do it. I'll see you next week on the boat. New episode every Sunday. Yeah.